This video will provide a quick overview of how to get started in Fresh Service. I'm going to give an overview of some of the key features so that you can quickly get acclimated with Fresh Service and use it as a project management tool. So I think the best place to start here would be to create a project. So to create a project, you will want to go to this icon on the left hand side. It's like a piece of paper going into a folder and hit projects. This will show you a list of all of the projects that you have access to. In the right hand corner, you'll see this plus button where you can choose to create a project. This is the project creation form and you want to first give your project a name. Um, you can choose to use a template, any template that is available. You can use that template for your projects. So let's use the integration template here. You want to hit the start date and end date and also choose the project manager, which will be me. And then one aspect that's really important is to choose if you want your project to be visible to everyone or only visible to people that you invite to the team. Right underneath that, you can also add your project members, but if you don't wanna do that at this time, you can go back and add members in the project settings. So let's hit create. And our project will show up here in, in a few seconds. All right. So here you see that there was a template that I used and it will automatically populate tasks and any uh, task list that you had in that project. Let's go to the group view here. All right, so now we have our project here and from here we can start to add tasks. Add another task here. We can go into the task detail and start to add due dates. Update. Always make sure you hit the update button when you choose a date so that it can save. We can also add in assignees. And any notes. If you don't want to start by just adding in tasks, let's say you have already have a task list that exists in an Excel document, you can also import tasks right into Fresh Service. So to do that, you'll go to the right hand corner and choose these three dots and choose import. It's also important to note that if you want to ever go back to an Excel document, you can export your plan. So let's hit import. And so here we can click here to upload or drag and drop our file, but let's choose a file that we want to use here. Okay. And then you'll see uh, the fields that are gonna be mapped over. So I wanna show you on the opposite end of what your Excel document should look like for it to properly map over. So if we go to that same Excel document, this is what it's looked like. The first thing to note is that it's saved as a CSV file. Um, another important thing to note is that there are two fields that your document must have. So it must have a title field or a field that has the task description. It also must have a field that says type. Um, and for me, all the tasks, all the types are tasks. So I just type in tasks here. And for all my tasks, I just want to drag that down so that Fresh Service knows the type of task. Um, the other important thing to know for the map over properly, if you have any dates, the dates need to be in the format of double digit day, double digit month, and double digit year. So again, that's double digit day first, then the month, and then the year. Um, if you don't have that, it will not map over properly. And then if you have any custom fields, um, functional area, milestones, any custom fields that are in your Excel document, if you want those to map over properly, 
please look at the forms and fills video because those fills will need to be added into your project before you map it over. But once you have that information, you can choose to import all your tasks over. So we see that it already chose our type, our title field, and then we have a status field that's mapping over. Again, you don't see the other fields here because we haven't created them in our settings. And later in the video, I'll just do a quick recap of how to do that. But let's import. All right, you see a little note here. It says that they will email us once it's complete. All right, and if you don't see it right away, you may need to refresh your screen. But here are all the tasks that came over from our Excel document. There are different views that you can use to look at this ta task list. So you can look at it in the group view. Typically, we have our work streams on the left-hand side and then all of our tasks on the right but there's also the option to just view it in a list view or a board view. On the left-hand side, on, on the left-hand side, there's also the option to look at, if you hit plan, you'll see a Gantt view. And of course you want, it's not really populated right now, but if we were to add dates in, you would see all the dates here or a roadmap view of the project. And with the roadmap view, you can look at quarterly or half year. Let's go back to the group view. The group view is my preference for uh, viewing tasks in Fresh Service. All right. And so from here, I told, I mentioned that we would look at the settings. So the project settings, this is where you can add um, a description of the project. Um, you can add in start and end dates. You can also update your project key. So uh, Fresh Service will automatically populate a project key. And so you'll see these two letters and also a number for every task. Every task has a task ID. So that's what the project key is. You can choose priority for your project. Again, we talked about this when we first created the project, but let's say you wanted to update it. Um, you can choose who it's going to be visible to. If it's a sprint, you can choose a sprint duration. And here we have some custom fields that we added to this template. But if you need to add custom fields to the description, you can also do that here. And then, as I mentioned briefly, if you want to add those custom columns, that were in your Excel document to the project, it needs to be done here first before you import. If not, it won't pull over that information. So this is reviewed in the forms and field video, but just a quick recap, if you go to task form edit, you can create a new field and it can be, um, in, a lot, it could be in alignment with whatever fields are in your Excel document. So there was a functional area field and then we can start to add in the same functional areas that were in your Excel document. Hit the save button. All right. So that is a quick overview of how to get started in Fresh Service. For more details about some of the additional features in Fresh Service, please refer to the videos in the Fresh Service project.